This technique is squatting sacrifice, and squatting sacrifice is another defense we have uh, a tool against um, a rear bear hug, arms are free. Now, this particular rear bear hug attack has a little different uh, style energy, at least my take on it. And that means that when the person, your attacker comes up from behind, on the defensive side, you're gonna start to feel that energy of them grabbing a hold and lightly pulling you back, which is gonna provoke uh, the defense uh, concepts in this technique, or trying to grab your legs and even push you forward uh, into a face plant on the ground. So keep that in mind while um, exploring this technique. Now, two techniques that we've learned prior to this would be um, crashing wings and spiraling twig, which we'll be using the beginning of those two techniques uh, to start us out with this defense, okay? So, person comes in for the attack, I'm gonna catch my balance by stepping out with my right leg. It's very similar, same thing to crashing wings. I'm gonna use the beginning of crashing wings to attempt to break free of the grasp of the gravity around the waist. So as I use that technical part of, of that technique, maybe that doesn't work, I then resort to spiraling twigs, knocking on the metacarpals with my knuckles, trying to affect the grab and open up those hands. Now once that takes place, if you start to feel your body being pulled back, you're gonna counteract that by leaning forward, trying to gain balance and recover. You're gonna notice the right leg of your opponent is right between your legs, so the ankle is there, vulnerable. So you're gonna grab a hold of the ankle and you're gonna pull it up using the pivotal point of the knee against your backside to basically slam the person down. Now you have their leg up here, which you're gonna re-grab with your right hand around their ankle or Achilles and the left hand around the blade of their foot, which I'll show you on Sensei Gate. You're gonna look over your right shoulder and take advantage as the person's head comes up with a hook kick into a twist stance on the other side of their body, dropping into the stance using the knee to spike the groin. From there, you're gonna simply pivot in place into a forward bow, keeping your right leg planted, which will be now in between your opponent's legs. The opponent's gonna to try to get up. You're gonna use a shovel kick right up and underneath their armpit here, and they're gonna to try to push up again. Now you still have the leg underneath your right hand and your right hand's grasp. You're gonna take your left hand now and grab a hold of their arm. Meanwhile, the whole time, you're pinning them down with the knee spike. Your right knee is basically dropped down onto their coccyx. From this position, you'll finish it off with a stomp to the spine, right leg, and then a stomp to the wrist, cross out, step back, on guard. So there's your breakdown. Let's go ahead and take a look at this on Sensei Game, sir. So as the attack comes in, I have to recover from that. I use my crashing wings to try to break open the ground, and if that's not working, I have my spiraling twigs tool. I notice that when I sit down and try to recover, that leg is vulnerable, so I take advantage and I grab it and pull it up. Grabbing a hold of the Achilles and the blade of the foot, cradling the foot because this is a snap. We're going to definitely do some damage to the knee and the ankle here. Now, once he starts to feel that pressure and starts to rise up, I kick across the face with the hook, landing into my twist stance and dropping my knee into the groin. Now, I'm just gonna simply roll him over, staying put pretty much, just pivoting in place as I roll over into a forward bow. And I wanna keep that pressure nice and tight up against his, his groin area. Now, from here, he's, you see how he's pushing up. I'm gonna use that shovel kick and kick right up uh, in between his uh, armpit and arm there. He pushes up again, and I'm kneeling on his cocks. I want to, want to keep him on the ground. I grab a hold, and I bow his body. Now I'm going to release the leg as I snap the spine with the stomp. I release the arm as I cross out, stomping on the wrist. Cross out, step back, undone. Sir. And that would be a nice slow breakdown uh, of a pretty cool technique, squatting sacrifice. So take a look at it and explore, and uh, good luck. Cheers.